So I always blame them for not being educated, you know, not yeah. knowing how to do certain things. Like, God, why didn't y'all complete? Why didn't you make us go to school? You know, yeah. I always did that. I mean, up until an adult. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was like, oh, I can make decisions for myself now. Right. You know, okay, they did what they did, but now yes. what are we going to do with where we are? Right. Yeah. I got married, I had four kids, and I had all the obstacles in life that women do. Right. And I found ways to face those obstacles and yet still blame people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's this person, it's a, whatever the situation, that I have a special needs son, I have a, my third boy at six months, he developed spinal meningitis, it was a medical error, some people say. So now it's God's fault mm -hmm. because that was not the way it was supposed yeah. to be. He could have been not the situation that he's had to go through all the, in other words, all that I had opportunity to overcome. So why are, what am I talking to you about? Because the scripture says that we have the opportunity to hear a voice that will renew our mind, mm -hmm. even though the thief comes in the wow. night wow. So good. to rob us mm -hmm. of what Jesus said yes. he came to give us abundant life. Yeah. So David, King David, is a sinner. And in his heartbreak of how he knew that he had disappointed his family and his life, he wrote that, create in me a yeah, clean okay. heart. Yeah. Okay. And so I guess I really want to talk about today how we have a chance to blame other people yeah. Or we can ask God to renew a right spirit. Yeah. And what yeah. I love about that is that the fact that God offers that we can renew our spirit, that yeah. means it's possible yes. that it can happen. Right, yeah. Alex? Yes. Okay. I, as you're talking, I think right back to the garden. I wondered yes. if Adam and Eve had just repented yeah. at the moment yes. instead of blamed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What could have happened? Mm -hmm. Now, I know sin entered, and but I think God was saying, hey, where are you? Where, where are you at? Yeah. What have you done? Mm -hmm. But we are so quick to deflect mm -hmm. and right. put it on somebody right. else because maybe in our minds mm -hmm. it's easier to shift the responsibility on somebody yeah. else so well, that we have the excuse, easier, right? It, it does feel feels easier. Feels easier. Uh -huh. Feels justified. Yeah. Feels safe. Mm -hmm. Feels like, well, mm -hmm. My whole life was, well, if I was born in a different family, yeah. if I had a better start, if right. I was not an immigrant's daughter mm -hmm. and I was more, you know, mm -hmm. open, uh, give, afforded more opportunity in this way or this way. I mean, it was a mm -hmm. constant mm -hmm. blame mm -hmm. of where I was at is that God's given us all authority mm -hmm. yes. and yet we are still blaming Blame and so, yeah. so yeah. that we yes. can feel better about shifting that blame rather than taking the responsibility and doing the work. It's really good. Because honestly, it's the only difference that I find between me actually flourishing in Christ to not, because I've been in both places, both camps for years, mm -hmm. blaming everybody else mm -hmm. and actually not taking yeah. a minute to mm -hmm. take responsibility. Yeah. I'm glad you went back to Adam and Eve because I go back to the beginning of that. Let's get back to the you know, the root of whatever it is that we're going through, I think it's an inherited sin. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you good. know, oh, like that whole blame game. Yeah. It's like yes. you blame others because this is what we do. And yes. so we have to work on taking responsibility and knowing that our response mm -hmm. is our responsibility, mm -hmm. right? That we have to respond to things knowing the integrity of what we're dealing with. You know it's not yeah. somebody else. It is your fault yes. at this point, right? Yeah. Regardless of where we are in life right now, all of us are grown enough to take responsibility to do mm -hmm. better, not yes. for what has happened, but to do better. I was the same way. My parents 
dropped out of school in high school. I think my mom was in the ninth grade. Maybe my dad was in the ninth grade. My mom was in the 11th grade. And so like I had a 7% chance of ever even completing college. So I always blamed them for not being educated, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not yeah. knowing how to do certain things. Like, God, why didn't y'all complete? Why didn't you make us go to school? You know, yeah. I always did that. I mean, up until an adult. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was like, oh, I can make decisions yeah. for myself now. <laughs> so you know, OK, mm -hmm. they did what they did. But now yes. what are we going to do with where we all right. are yes. right. and stop blaming everybody else? That's and right. so I took the responsibility mm -hmm. to make myself better. Yeah. So whatever anybody else is in life, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, OK, why well, keep rehearsing that? Let's start now right. doing something about what has happened right. so good. instead of blaming everybody. Yeah, I love that place in Mark's gospel where the disciples are confused because they're like, goodness gracious, why why did all these people die? Why did these, it was basically the pre-Twin Towers, Twin Towers, why did the towers yeah. alone fall? And they're expecting to get Jesus with hair ex extensions, gentle Jesus, you know, we so often don't look at the Jesus is perfect. Yeah, yeah. He's always kind and he's holy and he's transcendent and he's firm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there needs to be firm. Mm -hmm. And he says to them, none of these people are innocent. It's like anytime you blame somebody else, it's not just shifting. Yeah. It's yeah. irresponsible to not go, you know what? Their business is their business. Yeah. What did I bring right. to, yeah. mm -hmm. to yeah. mess this up? I mm -hmm. had somebody say something real ugly recently and it was public and my oh, publisher no. um, called me and they're like, we have got to make a, a public because what they said about you isn't true. And I said, well, that isn't true. Mm. But there's a whole lot of other stuff that's <laughs> bad that they don't know that <laughs> is true. <laughs> so I was like, if I start trying to go, no, I didn't right. do that, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. I was like, my Thank heavens, you. let's Come just on. put the truth on the table and go, but I am this, this, and this. Right. So I said, yeah. I'm not going to chase down no. every time somebody yeah. says, I'm a yahoo because I am a yahoo. Mm. So let me not. Let me not listen to that. Let me come before the Lord. I love you brought up David saying, created me a clean heart. Mm -hmm. It was after he owned his own sin. Yeah. yeah. So I think even in blaming others, we're delaying peace with God. Exactly. Yeah. Very because good. you're not good. going, Very let good. me stand and Very go good. see if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting because they've got their own journey. It, they're doing the same thing. If they're blaming us, then they're delaying their yeah. peace with God. Yeah. Peace and change. Peace and change, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I just want to go, I remember a season where I was blaming some other people and a lot of other people and um, not honest enough to do it their face, just, you know, <laughs> wrapping Christianese around it, do it with gossip <laughs> and then, for them. then yeah. cuss them in my mind <laughs> when I'm in traffic. Um, <laughs> but I was just carrying unforgiveness. Yeah. yeah. So just carrying yeah. so much unforgiveness and didn't realize it was killing yeah. me. And the sweetness of that season, when God started to pull that toxicity out of my yeah. heart, I found myself holding my hands up, mm -hmm. lived in this little cottage by myself going, prune the rest of me. Mm -hmm. Now that you've seen that, mm -hmm. I want freedom and I want growth and mm -hmm. I want nothing so between us. And that means whatever. I'm not going to wear Spanx before mm -hmm. God. I want to peel it all <laughs> off and go. So good. Whatever is yeah. unclean. And it's not that I'm so holy. Yeah. There's actually kind of a selfish intent of, I just want to be so close to him that I don't have to hide. Yeah. yeah. And and so I think blaming somebody else, if we could begin to get, you're actually wounding yourself. Yeah. You're delaying peace yeah. with God. So good. And the contentment that he made us for. And you're actually carrying anxiety that he didn't make you to carry. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.